Thank you very much, Urban, to all the uh, media that came out in support of us this day. Uh, this is real life 101. If you haven't felt the truth and the sincerity and the passion which these men have spoken, uh, you haven't waken up yet. But it's about real life. Uh, it's about what's most important to all of us here today, and it's the pension and our earned benefits. You've heard that said repeatedly today, and I'm going to say it again. Our pension and our earned benefits. I think the greatest thing about this is that better benefits as well as improved benefits for all of the guys. And you can hear stories up to Gazoo, and they're all the true stories because this is real life 101. I can recall when I was playing with the Lions, I played my first nine years, punt return, kickoff return. I punted my first six years. I spotted for extra points and played defensive back. And during that first nine years, I didn't realize this till after I was out of the game. As five years afterwards, I go to an optologist, an ophthalmologist to get my eyes checked for glasses. And as he's got me bent over into the chair with a light probing through my eyes for about a minute, he jerks up with fright on his face. And I said, what's up, doc? He said, Lim, when did you get these concussions? <laughs> concussions? And I said out of ignorance, Doc, I've never had a concussion. He said, what? I said, I've never had a concussion. He probed again for about a minute and 40 seconds. He said, Lim, I see where you've got at least six or seven concussions. And out of ignorance again, I said, Doc, <laughs> I've never had a concussion. He was placed in a, a pensive mood. He said, all right, tell me, have you ever been knocked out? I said, hell yeah. <laughs> Gail Sayers, Robert Newhouse, uh, <laughs> Rufus Mays, <laughs> Will Wright. I said, yeah. He said, Lim, that's when you get concussions. I said, well, I be darned. He said, what? I said, the doctors, the team physicians, never called them concussions. They called them dingers, stingers, or bell ringers. Now, he could see through my eyes back to the lobe of my brain and see spots all over the lobes of my brain. And he said, Lim, I see one on here where it's the size of a silver dollar. I said, what does that mean, Doc? He says, you are out a long time. <laughs> I said, wow. He said, what's the longest you're out? I said, what about 22 minutes? First time I was KO'd by right knee from Rufus Mays from the Cincinnati Bengals, 6'9", 285, Splazo. And so I didn't let it bother me. Uh, I didn't feel like I had any impairment, but if you ask my wife, she'd tell you different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was uh, asked to speak last week for a congressional hearing in Detroit at Wayne State's Medical School on behalf of head injuries that causes Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's. It was spearheaded by Detroit Congressman John Conyers, a congresswoman from Connecticut and a congressman from Tennessee. And as I spoke to him about the concussions I had had, they asked me, say, Lim, did you ever go back into a game after these concussions? <laughs> yes, every one of them. He said, well, what was the criteria to go back into the game? I said, well, after you get your unwoozy and walk you off the field, they give you a little smelling soft, give you a drink of water. Then the litmus test is asked. He said, what's the litmus test? I said, well, it's three questions. And if you get two of the three, you're back in the game. He said, what were the questions? I said, first, what jersey are you wearing? What day is it? And what team are you playing? And if you can get two of the three, guess what? You're back in the game. So, I, I, I'm, again, I am grateful for all of you who are out today to help us to push this news about earning the things that we really have deserved, uh, better pension. Uh, it, it's really needed. There are a lot of gentlemen that have played this game that you never hear about after they leave the game. Yeah, you hear about some of the Hall of Famers and some other all pros and people of that nature, but just think of the multi-millions of guys who left the game disabled no pensions, no wife, they lost their children, not a degree in college, so they can't work. We have a cornucopia of young men like that that are just wasted today because of the bad pension that we have. So again, I'm thankful for you for coming out. Thank you very much and God bless you.